According to a recent tweet from Cliff Blazinski, former Boss Key CEO, Fox was in discussions with his game studio to create a new Aliens first person shooter, one that would have featured both Ripley and Newt, but before the game could go forward, the Disney purchase of Fox would take place ending the deal. In a twist of timeline similar to the later plannings of Neil Blomkamp's unmade Alien 5 film, the game would have ignored the events of Alien 3 and Resurrection, creating a whole new timeline. Was 20th Century Fox trying to undo the events of Alien 3 and 4, and just what else is there to know about this unrealized Aliens game? For those of you unfamiliar with Cliff Blazinski, he was a game designer for Epic Studios who worked on titles like Unreal and Gears of War. Afterwards, he would start his own game studio, Boss Key Productions, and it would be here that talk started with Fox to do another entry into the Aliens game universe. Recently, Cliff went onto Twitter to discuss the cancelled game, and here's what he had to say about it. Ripley would be alive and be your Cortana or Anya. You'd play as grown Newt on Earth. Whale and Yutani are weaponizing the aliens in a Black Mesa style facility and of course all hell breaks loose. Your robotic pal, i.e. Bishop, a new one named Casey after her doll and aliens. FPS, obviously. I always said I'd never want to work on someone else's IP, only exemptions for me personally, aliens and transformers. Erase all canon after aliens, by the way. So right off we know that Ripley and Newt are both still alive, going with the theme of retconning out the events of Alien 3 and Resurrection. The game would have taken place, at least in part, on Earth, and some time has passed since the escape on LV-426 because Newt is now a grown adult. And not only that, but you, the player, would have been controlling Newt as she somehow would have been swept up into the attempts by the company to weaponize the Xenomorph. This of course would lead to the aliens getting loose, setting up the game's events. According to the tweets, Ripley would likely be off camera, directing Newt on these missions. So far, every Alien movie cast has included an android, and the unmade Aliens FPS game would be no different. And I've got to say, I love the homage paid the Aliens, where Newt's robotic pal Casey is named for the doll head that she carried around as a little girl on LV-426. Now, it was said that the game would erase all canon after Aliens, a premise that Alien fans heard recently with the failed attempts at an Alien 5 film by Neil Blomkamp. At first, Neil's movie would have taken place in between Aliens and Alien 3, yet once he found out that Sigourney Weaver would be interested in reprising her role as Ellen Ripley, Blomkamp rewrote the story to be a retcon where Hicks and Newt would end up surviving. Now these two instances aren't the only time that Fox has tried to change the outcome of the last two Alien sequel films. Gearbox's Aliens Colonial Marines game would also take a semi-retcon route, having Newt and Hicks survive. With this being the third time that Fox has tried to do this, it's evident that they were beginning to look towards the end of the franchise, meaning sequel territory, and away from prequel territory with Prometheus and Covenant. Now that Disney is overseeing 20th Century Studios, I get why this project was put on hold or cancelled. Fox had no idea what they were doing with the Alien franchise. They put little to no effort into Alien 3 and 4, and they changed the focus of the prequels over and over during production. They finally put out a great game with Alien Isolation, but they don't follow it up with the sequel. Instead, they break off and try out this FPS game, which sounds great and all, but what about Isolation 2? I mean, you're doing comic books and toys for isolation, so how about a follow-up? It makes sense to anyone that isn't 20th Century Studios. And to me, this is why Disney is waiting before they do anything with Alien. Fox completely misused the series, so Disney wants to take a break for a bit, which could be a blessing to Alien fans. We all know how Disney has screwed up the Star Wars franchise, but after their many failures, they put out The Mandalorian, an amazing show, so maybe they've learned a lesson in taking over franchises and Alien won't see the same mistakes as Star Wars did. So what do you guys think of this unmade game? Would you want to play it or an isolation sequel? Will Disney do Alien worse than they did Star Wars? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.